Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for part 14 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Secrets and Lies. If you haven't watched part 12, I do suggest that you go watch it and part 10 because we figured out who the father of Daniela and Isabella is. So I do suggest that you pause this video right now if you haven't seen that already and go check it out. But obviously only Carmela knows the girls, Danny and Izzy, they do not know yet who their dad is and they probably won't find out for a long time. So obviously you guys are now in on the secret, but the girls don't know and I don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to play out. Because like we witnessed in part 12, the game just gives you drama when you least expect it and it will just give it and give it and give it and... There is actually nothing you can do to stop it, nothing you can do to change it, because the game will just give you drama like it just don't care. So anyway, at the end of part 13, but you got invited out to a crazy chalet party at the Von Hort estate by Izzy's very clingy boyfriend, Sergio Romeo. He is a he is such a clinger. He's a stage five clinger people. He's so clingy to her, he's always asking her out, he's always sniffing around her and everything. And I kind of think they actually are boyfriend and girlfriend, aren't they? Um, let's see. I think they are, they are definitely boyfriend and girlfriend, but um, what does it say? Oh, lovers. Oh, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend yet. Oh, okay. I swear they were. Okay, well, they can. She can ask to be. They can ask to be boyfriend, I suppose, because they've gone out on a few dates and everything, and so I suppose she can. I was gonna say she's gonna break up with him, but obviously not. She can be boyfriend and girlfriend. So she just became the boyfriend of Isabella, and obviously Danny is in a relationship with Akira, sort of. They're not together together but they just got invited to this crazy party and they thought why not go Pamela is at home doing god knows what Izzy with her jeans are still really winding me up because <laughs> like look this line is up um uh guys remember how I just said how the game gives you drama We'll just ignore that for a second because I think the girls are getting stalked. I think... Oh my god, you guys, seriously, the game does this to me on purpose, I swear. You all saw, didn't you? Okay, so those of you who don't know, Mortimer Goth is the girl's father. In the last part, part 12, at the end, he was actually at the Humor and Hijinx Festival near the girls. And now, of all places, Mortimer Goth, you saw him, right? I didn't just imagine that. He was wandering around here as well. So does he know? Has he sussed it out? Because did he see? Did he see Carmela at the sushi restaurant when she was on her supposed date with Bajon? Because this is all sorts of creepy now, guys, because I think he saw Carmela. And I think he's maybe done some research of his own. And I think he's figured out maybe that these girls, the age, they're like 20, he might figure out maybe that he either thinks they're the same girl, he hasn't really noticed that they're twins, because like I said, he knew that Carmela was pregnant, but not with twins. Like, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know he has daughters or son or whatever. He doesn't know what he's got. But you saw him there, you guys. And that was pretty creepy, because what the hell is he doing? here what is he doing what was he doing what are his intentions because you saw that there was no need for him to be there like none at all and you all saw him does he know about the girls is he stalking the girls is he trying to find their mother to maybe get some answers where did he go because you all saw he walked straight past them and that's Sergio going away so I'm slightly confused now. Does he know? Because the girls certainly don't know. Is he trying to sniff out the situation? I'm trying to see if he's around anywhere, but I cannot see him, and that was hella creepy, and that was hella funny. Because like I'm saying, the game gives you drama. I literally just said that, and the game has done it again. So it's very interesting. We don't know what's going on. I don't know why he's around for real because it's just kind of creeping me out now because does he know because if he knows then that's just creepy because if he knows he knows and I don't know what he's going to do with the information I don't know if he's going to try and get out of it I don't know what his plan is because I don't know what Bella's going to do when she finds out because they were actually newlyweds 
when Mortimer had the affair with Carmela. So, you know, I don't know. And if you don't believe me, let's hop into their family tree because I can show you now. Because you all know. Here we have Carmela, Mortimer Goth. Let's see Mortimer Goth. Mortimer Goth's children, Daniela and Isabella. And obviously Cassandra and Alexandra. 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 So, you all know now. The secret is out. You all know. You all know. So I don't know what's going to happen. This is just so funny because he I swear he's stalking them because he was there. What would Mortimer Goth be doing at the Humor and Hijinks Festival? Okay, fair enough. He would come to the Von Horn to stay because, you know, he's into that creepy stuff. But the Humor and Hijinks Festival, Mortimer has not laughed, like, since Carmela left his life. So I don't know what's going on because he loves Carmela. And obviously he loves Bella as well. But... He's always had a soft spot for Carmela, so I don't know what would happen if he sees her again. Because I think you guys, I think he might have seen her at the restaurant. Because what on earth was he doing there? At, uh, at the festival, near where the girls live. He's obviously there for a reason. Maybe he knew that, you know, they'd be there. Or around. He wants, maybe he doesn't know about the girls. Maybe, but he knows about Carmela. But he knows that she's pregnant. But... I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Woo! The game. The game just does this, people. I love it. Let's order some pizza and hummus. But that's kind of funny. Order some food, Izzy. But the girls, they don't know that that's their dad. And they've asked their mom. The mother always gets around the issue. She's not going to tell them. Oh, yeah. She's not going to tell them. Oh, should we put this on Twitter? Yeah, let's put this on Twitter. Oh yeah, secrets and lies. Let's type it in. Secrets and lies. The Sims Four. Ogs, S A L, which is secrets and lies. Oh, I ca I got no internet. <laughs> Awkward. I put my internet off because the game goes faster without it. Okay, so we'll just ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen, and it will be no spoiler because, like I said, I gave the girls a makeover, and you guys will actually see it earlier. So. We'll just ignore that. But then, yeah, I've got my internet off because the game runs so much smoother without it because it's always trying to reconnect and everything. So without that issue, it is perfectly good. Woo, go Danny. Oh yeah, get it Danny. Get it. Oh yeah. And what's she doing? She's just chilling and everything. So yeah. What was she thinking? I don't know what she's thinking. Ha ha ha. God knows what she's thinking. But she's just having a good time. What's she gonna, she's going to go fertilise the bush in a second. Grab something to eat as well because your sister got some food. Okay. And then let's go fertilise that bush. Why not? <laughs> Look at her go. Oh yeah. She's going into a very isolated area. Yes she is. I wonder why. Where is she going? She's going all the way to that bush there. Fair enough. Danny, you strange child. Oh, you come all the way here. There was a bush like right there. I don't even know what you're doing. Oh, but I hear your phone ringing. Your phone's buzzing, girl. Your phone's buzzing. <laughs> Okay, so Danny got those um, text messages you all saw. But um, did you not fertilize the bush? Oh, yes. Pee like a champion. Did you not go into the toilet? Go and then come and grab something to eat. I don't know, what do you guys make of those messages? Hmm, I wonder what your guys' opinions are. What's gonna happen, you guys? I told you. You just never know. Sometimes the game will throw stuff in your face. And you have no idea what's gonna happen. Give me a friendly introduction. He's like a cool guy, Victor Feng, Lily Feng's husband. She hates children, by the way, Lily Feng. I when I gave her a makeover, I was like, "What? You hate children?" I her traits. I was like, "Girl, ooh, no one you to have kids." Right, day he doesn't hate children. I see. I saw his traits as well. So. I don't know. There's always maybe she, he might want children, she might not want children. Potential drama storyline there, people. And look at her. She's uncomfortable now. She's super uncomfortable with those text messages. She doesn't know, like, what's what. 
she doesn't know why she's been getting them and she doesn't know who's doing it and she's like what is going on with her life she's not going to tell her mum she's not going to tell her sister so we have already established that in part 8 8 yeah the vampire stalker part so we don't even know what's going on but we do we have inside knowledge we're on the same wavelength as Carmela Carmela we know what she's thinking, we know what she's doing, we know what's going on, we know Dina Caliente is sitting over there, hey, hey Dina, you know Dina, don't you, get to know, shout for, don't shout for a bit of words at Dina, but I can't, yeah, no, I already, I already ranted about that in another, in another part, um, Dina's romantic, Izzy, what's Izzy doing, she's still dancing, oh, Candy, get it, Pretty good party, let me know if you have another. Sure. It was here. You guys, isn't this like a beautiful place? I love this place. It's so pretty. What's going on there? I see, oh, sprinklers. I was like, what's all this water? It's sprinklers, you guys, it's sprinklers. Don't be alarmed. Okay, so what we can do, what is the time? This party was really long. It was a long ass party. Grab another plate, because you're hungry. Did you even eat, Izzy? Seriously, did you? Yeah, eat, eat some. Your sister stinks. Yeah, you need to have a shower when you go home. Is there a shower here that we can, like, break into? Ha, ha, ha. Um, no. There's no shower, is there? There's a bathtub, is there? <gasps> Ooh. Should Danny, like, should she? I think Danny would be so. She'd have a bath, but she can't get through. I don't know. She would. Breaking into the Von Horn to stay. Ah, oh, sisters having a little chat. And one stinks, like, a lot. And we all know which one that is. It's Daniela. She really stinks. We'll just get them home to have a shower. <laughs> Oh, this guy looks pretty cool. I like his necklace and his ring. Very cool. So yeah, actually, we'll take them home after they eat. So nothing. Oh, who's calling Izzy? Oh, I heard you and Sergio started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Thank you. Yeah, I'll actually just take them home, you guys. So I'll see you there. Okay, we have arrived home and everything. And where's Danny? Oh, she's already jumped in the shower. Fair enough. Come in as just walking around. I think she might actually invite um, her lover boy over. So I think we'll get her to do that actually. Invite to hang out current lot. Let's invite out um, Bajorn. Here we go. Invite him over because he asked her out. Okay. I did not force that. Okay. He wanted to make some excuse about her promotion. She doesn't even have a job. So he obviously wants her he wants Carmela, and who are we to get in the way of that? Because he's obviously not happy with Clara. I don't condone breaking up a marriage or a relationship, so, you know, don't get twisted. It's just a game. It's just part of the story. What are you doing, Carmela? Are you researching? What are you researching? You know that Mortimer is around. And she's obviously going into something interesting. I wonder. I wonder. What are you doing? But have you, can you invite him over? Did he say he's coming around? Yeah, he is. He's coming. All right. Okay. Go kiss your man. Go get him. Woohoo. Oh, they're going to go straight for the woohoo. Go for it, Carmela. That was, it, it was, she wants to do it. We'll let her do it. Is he going to say yes? Yes, he is. He's gloomy. Ugh. Hmm. He's gloomy. Too gloomy for us. But it's okay. Oh, go on, Carmela. They're going to woohoo. Secret woohoo. This <laughs> guy's a funny picture to take, you guys. Look. They're about to do the business. They're about to do the business. They're about to do the woohoo. Do the woohoo. Go for it. Yeah, we all know what they're doing. We all know what they're doing. They're doing the woohoo. Doing the woohoo. Okay, right. Are you? Did you not? Oh no, she's stuck. Oh no, she's. Oh no, she has to. Ah, oh, she's not. Go okay, no, you just need to get something to eat. Grab a set. You're gonna have to run through the room while your mum is woohooing with her lover. How embarrassing is that? Okay, yeah. Just, oh my god, poor Danny. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. She's like, oh my god, what did I just see? 
What did I just see? She is completely freaked out and grossed out. Poor girl. Poor girl. When you walk in on your mother, we hurry. Does something not that is something nobody wants. No, Izzy, don't. <gasps> Izzy. <gasps> yes, Izzy, don't. You've done it as well. Well done. You're like, uh. Why did you do that, Izzy? Why? You're stuck now. Go. Just use the toilet while you're in here. Go on. Because that's super embarrassing. That's super embarrassing. Oh my god. Invite to stay the night. What oh, choice is romance? Compliment appearance. Get to know him a little bit. Do you even know our daughters? I don't even know. Do they know him? No. Don't give him a friendly introduction because you guys have already seen him woohoo with your mother. So I think it's about time you give yourself a proper introduction to him because how awkward is that? Seriously. How awkward could that be? Oh my god. I feel so sorry for them. But I don't know why Izzy walked in to go wash her hands there or do whatever she wanted to do in the sink because, you know, like for real, Aubergine looks like his Christmases have come at once. <laughs> <laughs> Three hot Italian girls. He's like, yes. <laughs> he actually is enjoying himself. Look at his face. He's like, yeah, I could get used to this. <laughs> he, yeah, he's a, he's a right, he's a right, he's a funny one. Bajon is Bajon, Bajon, Bajon. We know. But we all saw, we all know. He no, don't actually know funny doors. Well, they, you already woohooed in front of them. So I don't see why a bit of friendly introduction isn't, you know, it's not a crime, in my opinion. Oh my god. Oh. Should she ask him to be boyfriend? No, not yet. That's like way too early. Or should she? I don't know. Too soon? Probably too soon. Izzy, what are you? Whoa. Izzy, what's this face all about? She's like, uh. Okay, don't need to see that. Oh my god, that is actually hilarious. That face is after seeing that. And Danny's like, yeah, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Because this, this safe, this Secrets and Lies LP has just been one funny thing after another. And you, they're just kissing in front of their doors now. Okay, um, what can we do? Danny, it's too early to sleep, isn't it? I suppose they could go out to a club again, but that's just hilarious in itself. I think, yeah, probably in the next part we'll take them to the club or something. Well, they'll stay in the night, so I think they can woohoo again. Why not? If the daughters will get out the room this time. Izzy, go over here. Danny, go over there as well. You do not need to see your mum woohoo again. Yeah, you do not need to see it. Okay, they're not going to woohoo. Okay, she's going to eat. Okay, and they're like, mum like seriously seriously what are you doing put this away the girls just don't even know where to look they can't even look their mother in the eye and it's sort of like avoiding eye contact they're like oh, oh my god <laughs> but you know what guys i think that's actually a good place to end this part here i do hope you enjoyed it i cannot believe what happened at the start it's seriously like the game is giving us drama when we when we don't want it but who knows actually know i take that back because we always want drama drama is fun and it adds to the gameplay and i wouldn't have it any other way so anyway guys i do hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in part 15 of let's play the sims 4 for some lies bye guys